Hello, today at 2 p.m. is my webinar on Microsoft Sway, which is a presentation program. And if you're wondering one of the reasons to use Sway instead of PowerPoint, I'll cover this in the webinar. I have a Word document, and my Word document has one image, two images. They're actually identical, and that was intentional. And then I have a third image down here. So I'm going to save this Word document and close it. If I try to pull that Word document into Microsoft PowerPoint, watch what happens. I'm going to fast forward this. There it is. If you notice, it did pull it in because my Word document did have Microsoft Sway but it didn't put it in the correct order because I had images in the Word document and so I went from one, sl one slide to seven slides but all three images are still missing. So that was absolutely useless to me. But now I'm going to pull up Microsoft Sway, start from a document, Watch this. This is amazing. There is my Sway and Storyline view. I see an image here. I see that second image here. And there's my third image. And if you play this, this is what my audience would actually see right now without me even doing anything in Sway. There's image one. There's image two and there's image three. And I'll also cover this in my webinar today. The reason I put the same image in twice is I'm trying to show the website sway.com which is right up here. So go back to edit this sway. I'm going to select that image. PowerPoint does not do this. Sway has something called focus points. When I click focus points it's asking me where do you want to focus when this image is displayed? I'm going to left click right there. Sway is always saving, so I'm going to just hit play. It pulled up and focused right there on that image right there. Because the second image, if you notice, is the full image. So there's two reasons to use Sway over PowerPoint. And if you want to register for my webinar, uh, I'll put the URL also down here. Thank you.